She wouldn't have left me if it wasn't for him. I know where there's a truck. Uh, come on, we better get going. <laughs> That truck's gonna be sorry they was ever born. Stop him now! Dr. David Banner, physician, scientist, searching for a way to tap into the hidden strengths that all humans have. Then an accidental overdose of gamma radiation alters his body chemistry. And now when David Banner grows angry or outraged, a startling metamorphosis occurs. The creature is driven by rage and pursued by an investigative reporter. Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. The creature is wanted for a murder he didn't commit. David Banner is believed to be dead, and he must let the world think that he is dead until he can find a way to control the raging spirit that dwells within him. <laughs> back around. We'll cut off by Streeter's place. Seen anybody come by here? Are you please? No matter who we are, did you or didn't you? You hard of hearing? I didn't see anybody. Let's try further up the road. gone? Yes. Thanks, mister. Thanks. My name is Ben. My name is David. I think you ought to get to a doctor. Huh? No, no. I'm all right. I, I don't want to see no doctor. I'm all right. Uh-huh. Well, at least I ought to help you home. Okay. Okay. Which way? Over here. All right. Take it easy now.
Dad. Ben. Are you all right? I'm sorry, Nat. It's all right. Come on, sit down. Did you find him? Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I was uh, trying to get a ride. I saw him by the side of the road. He didn't tell him, Nat. He didn't tell him where I was. There were a couple of guys uh, after him. I figured there was the same ones who beat him up. Here, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, why would someone want to do something like that? Well, they didn't say. I'm Ben's brother, Nat. I'm David Betson. How are you? Look, why don't you let me uh, do this for you? I've had quite a bit of experience. Thank you. So who beat you up? Townies. Right, Ben? Yeah, townies. Townies? Yeah, you see, Ben and I are what you might call traveling handymen. We go from place to place and do odd jobs for different folks. We do just about anything, wouldn't we, Ben? Except for every once in a while, we run into a little trouble from the locals. I guess they think we're stealing their work. Well, that and us being free men and all. People just don't like free men. Look like you do a little traveling yourself. Yeah, I do. Well, then you know what I'm talking about. People get suspicious of outsiders. Something goes wrong, they're the first ones to blame. Which way are you headed? East. Hey, you got a place to stay for tonight? Well, I thought I'd probably find a place in town. <laughs> See how friendly the townies are. It's best to stay out of here with us tonight. That's the least we could do. Right, Ben? Sure. Now, well, good. It's settled. Stay and have supper with us. If you want to wash up, there's a stream around back here. Well, uh... All right, thank you. Thank you. Sure, he doesn't know anything, Ben. I'm sure, Nat. You all right? Yeah, well, I'm not so sure. And he's staying. 